Nah. Holy motherfucker. How much did this cost? This cost $66,437. This is my favorite car. Oh, yeah. It's very nice. Carbon. The issue is now what I want is I want this and a Maybach. This guy, he's not happy. I spent $90,000 on a bunch of red camera equipment. And he was like, no, it's nice. But actually, I think we should go back to Sony's. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, bro, we already have four Sony cameras. And he's like, yeah, but there's this other one. And it's like a little smaller. It's approximately 12% smaller. So it's nicer for my small hands. It's more ergonomic. So there you go, bro. This is basically a Sony S3, which is what we use without a viewfinder. Yep, that's basically all it is. For an extra four thousand dollars, so that's got a nice top handle <laughs> with the V mic XLR. <laughs> this this was actually my purchase. Yeah, this is a twelve hundred dollar mic. I, I like the Shures. I don't like the boom mics. This is more of a Tristan thing to set up, to be honest. So yeah, I. No more key experience. Yeah, with the axe, we've been doing some pad work. I've been trying to do a little bit more skipping, but uh, I'm strong. Fit, but if you put me in the ring, I'll get beat up very quickly. So we work very hard at the business. We give 100% to everything. So now I want to take boxing very seriously. First lesson, yeah, and we'll not. see how you look in nine months. <laughs> okay. I need a fighter name. Eagles are a pick. Llama. Alpaca. Jordan 4s or Jordan 1s. Rolexes got more than one. My AP costs 31. Millimeters 41. Stick. Him up with a stick. Stick. He do the shorter one. You can't short me. It's all good. Jog again. Backward. Good job, man. Hands up. Jog again. Good, man. Jog again. Beautiful. Beautiful, man. Sing jump. Alright. Perfect. Now make a kid. That's good. Single. Backward. Amazing. One, two. Good job. Again, one, two. Yeah. Offset is cool like this. That's what I call morning tears. Yeah, man, I'm talking there, but it's cool. Cause I got my things from morning hood. Anytime that I walk my hood, I got the Jordan 4s and 6s. All I need now is Jordan Woods. Day one. I can feel like I'm going to drop my hands too much. Who's our first opponent? <laughs> he wouldn't take the fight. <laughs> So after training, I had Ryan Sirhan come over to the house and do a house tour. This was actually crazy for me because I grew up watching Ryan Sirhan on TV with my mom, trying to show my mom, listen, I don't need to go to college. I can be a real estate agent. I can start as an Asian and then work my way up the property game. So it's just crazy to have him over, showed him some of my watches, showed him the property, basically just hung out. Uh, and you can check out that video on YouTube and now it is live. So let's get into the rest of the video. The two cars that we're seeing today, I definitely will not be sitting in the front. You know, this has been nice. This has been nice to have for six days, and it's been a good six days, but it's time for another car. We're going to look at Maybach, which was the second option, because I want something that's a little lower down, maybe a Bentley Flying Spur, or maybe they even have a nice Phantom in stock and I can be swayed that way. Well, we'll see. I became what you fantasize about becoming. So the issue is you, you almost can't find the perfect car yeah. because Phantom to me is like just the sickest presence on the road. I'm not French, bro. Bro, it's caps, bro. What do you mean, no cigars? Bro, you're gonna ruin the car, bro. Who cares? No, no, fuck off, bro. What do you mean, you're not gonna ruin the car, bro? But them smell, they don't ever leave, bro. Yeah, I will. Smoking. If you get any smoker's car, you just smell it straight away, bro. You know bro, what the bro, fuck? It's fine, we get like a uh, cleaning once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Playing on my phone, floating off Patron. Yeah. Oh, fucking hell. This is nice, baby. <laughs> this is nice, bro. Hey, anyway, we can drop the range back. <laughs> bro, this is perfect. Look, this is for my cigars, bro. Bro, this is sick. Amazing smoker's car. So what are you thinking? Maybe train in the range, get this, and then... We can't trade in the range. There's no way we can trade in the range after six days. I don't think we should we should trade in the range, to be honest. I ain't getting deep thrown. Hit the gas and I'm gone. Hit the gas. The issue is now what I want is I want this <laughs> and a Maybach. Or a Bentley Spurs. No, I can't have two, two Bentleys. No. <laughs> no, I can't have two yeah. Bentleys. You want me to edit in the car, boss? I'll edit in the car. Well, bro, of course you can edit in the car, because look. Can you just edit from the back of here, bro? Yo, the neck, the neck brace. Yeah. <laughs> just edit from the back of the Maybach. This. Can I tell you how special this is? <laughs> you know, bro, you know how some people find this comfortable? I just feel really awkward. <laughs> <laughs> bro, look at me, like. <laughs> I don't know bro. Like let's say we're just driving somewhere. 
though. <laughs> I don't feel comfortable. I hear my life. Problem is I meet a girl tonight. Then I go and treat it too nice. Nah, bro, in the Maybach, I don't know, I just don't really feel that comfortable. The po here's the point. Would you rather be in here or been take a long wheelbase? This is no, okay, to take away the, the status, this is pretty more comfortable than the long, long wheelbase Bentley. Yeah, but the long wheelbase Bentley is more luxurious, the rest of it. And, and once again, if we're talking comfort, then Range Rover is the king full stop of no, everything. No, I know. You just asked me about the Bentley, you didn't ask me about Range Rover. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like you found something else in there. <laughs> uh, so right now we're going to see my friend James at VIP Motors. He picked up his new wagon. He also got a spec, so he got a custom orange interior spec. Matte black on the outside. I'm outside in an AMG. Right outside, TT. Makes me uh, miss the wagons in Cape Town, bro. It's very nice. Yeah. Carbon. Jeez. Congrats, bro. This is amazing. It does give me flashbacks to Cape Town. And this is my favorite car yeah. on earth. Yeah. Having conversations with mama. We start talking about dad. You know he dropping a single. He's saying this is his window. Uh, <laughs> wait, what's that? The floors are like cushions. It's, yeah, the, the carpets are like 50K plus to replace. You, you go back to Alex's room, you'll see them in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just before you get into his bed. <laughs> Close the curtains, let me see how they is. Yeah, like that. Oh, no, I really don't like it. Talk. Yeah, like I also just want to look out the window. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is it just me? Like, like for me, I'm like that's kind of what tints are for, no? Yeah. Like, what? Do you think, what? what do you think of? Listen, bro. I think it's an amazing car. It is a bossy first. It's listed 2.3, but I can make you good for school. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Uh, it's tough. In terms of flexiness, is the Phantom. That I agree with. Because it's also the color we have just looks fucking aggressive. It looks mean. So what are you going to do? Fuck, now I'm leaning a little bit more towards the Phantom. Yeah? But now it's Bentley long wheelbase and maybe Phantom. I, I don't think you'll go all out on a Phantom. I think you're probably more comfortable in the Maybach for now. But why? You're, oh, you're trying to reverse psychology me. <laughs> I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing. You're like, why? Because I can't afford it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny, James. I know what you're trying to do, bro. I know what you're fucking trying to do. I never ever thought I'd see that in my life. Oh. Happy to see you, man. Happy to see you. Oh, it's so cool. It's like a 30% of my collection. Most of it's in London, but there's nah, some fun nah, stuff. Nah. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy motherfucker, God, Jesus Christ, Mamma Mia, hallelujah. You just picked this up in London. Yeah, correct. Give yeah, respect to them. Nah, that is like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, can I make a point here? And I've been saying this, this is a proper watch guy. Is he enjoying this watch? Can you say it again? No. Exactly. <laughs> proper watch guy. I love that. Yeah, you have muscular, very skinny, strong, not skinny, but strong wrist. <laughs> you see the rolls going over the fucking watch, right? I have to save it my trousers, really weird. <laughs> Unbelievable, RM67, that was the watch, bro. I, I really like that watch. To be honest, I, I'm not a big fan of RMs, or at least wearing them. No, you said that. You're not a big fan of RM. Why are you not a big fan of RM? In terms of wearing them, like, I don't know, it's just... Are you not finding them comfortable? I, I like, like, I had this on black Velcro before, and I, I preferred it on Velcro. I don't really like the... I love that color combination. Really? Yeah. This is insane, mate. This is insane. People have no idea. No idea. Unreal. I think you could go to AP and uh, request one. That'd be unique. Yeah. It's not that complicated. I'll be honest, I might get slave for this. I don't really like AP. Fuck you. You have a 15202 there, you mark cunt. What yeah, the fuck? Okay, you don't okay, like AP. Yeah, but let's be honest, right? Let's say you get this. What What else? But like Patek? I have a Celestial sitting at the boutique. I've oh, got a, I love that. I've got a, a 5712R sitting at the boutique. Like there's so much you can do with this. So, so much of the catalog you can explore with Patek. But I, I love Patek over everything else, to be honest. I think AP in general um, has earned its stripes. And I just love the simplicity of a Royal Oak in general, right? Mm. I done this and I bought this to celebrate a million subscribers. Mm. I know for a fact that in 50 years, this watch is still fucking alive. And I think it's cool. And for me, this reminds me of what, what a hard work that I and myself and the team have, have done. I didn't give the team one of those, to be fair, but I'm not like Iman, like giving everyone fucking <laughs> Rolexes. I'm still cheap, but whatever. So right. which one of these should I get uh, iced on? <laughs> you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, fuck you. This is, you can't touch that. You can't do that. You can only enjoy the craft of this. No, I heard there was a guy in um, New York who's really good at doing it. <laughs> Shut up, Shay. <laughs> By the way, can I just point out that, that she's wearing an absolutely insane, beautiful Dayton. I think that's the best watch for ladies, to be fair. She does a skinny wrist and I like oversized wear, because if it's relatively loose, not too not too tight, you can wear it dressed up and dressed out. Next to a bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Only speak when you're when you're when you're spoken. Spoken. <laughs> Do not 
wear a watch next to your bracelet or a bracelet next to your watch. That was the thing. Do not do that. You get in trouble with me. I'll come after. <laughs> Holy shit, the watch game is strong today, son. I just brought some watches. Oh, no, I didn't bring any watches. How are you, bro? <laughs> so I probably should have said this in the morning after the workout, but now that we're doing the vlogs, I feel the need to keep keep hammering at home. The fact that you guys are seeing opulence, you guys are seeing us going shopping for Rolls Royce Phantoms, going on all these fun trips, all of this stuff. And I really, really just need to continue to hammer at home that if you keep working, if you go back and you watch my old videos from 2016, and by the way, 2016 was really when I first started uploading YouTube videos of me working on the business and more importantly, working on myself, meditating, reading, working out. All I did was work. That's all I did. And it was two years before that. So if you follow the path correctly, you will have success. But I really want to drill it in that you're seeing all of this opulence because I put the work in year after year after year. Most people, when they get to my situation, they go buy the fancy cars, they go live their life, they do this to that. And they wake up at 10 o'clock next to their girlfriend and their girlfriend goes, no, 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 don't go to the gym, it's, it's fine. You, you just lay in bed, L look at our life. Just lay in bed, relax, have fun. And by the way, it's not even so much that they start playing video games or they start drinking or whatever it is. Um, you know, bear in mind, you guys see me, I party a lot. What it is, they just settle, they get comfortable. They think that they are the king of the castle. And every single morning I wake up and I realize I am absolutely fucking nobody. I am no one. I've accomplished some things for sure, but nowhere near the potential that God put me on this earth for. So I really just need to make it clear to you guys that if you want this life, you need to put your head down for at least three years. As I said, it took me two to three years of just working on myself. That's it, just, just me, before I could even start working on a business properly. The only way that you get this life is by working for it. And more importantly, and where most people fail is once they get this life, they get comfortable, they get cushy. And that is why most of the time it gets taken away. So enjoy the vlogs. I know for a lot of you guys, it's very inspirational and motivational, especially for those of you that watch the videos back from 2016 where I came from nothing. So enjoy the luxury, watch the stuff in your lunch break. But then after that, please get back to work. Right. I can't have a motivational talk about work, getting back to work and then... Okay, but like, how much did this cost? <laughs> Can we see? 244,000 dirhams, which comes out to... 66,437 dollars. 38 cents. And a, par and a parking ticket. And a parking ticket. We have a lot of plain shirts. There's a little jumper, quarter zip, lots of tees. So tees, black tee, gray tee, more tees. I know this is gonna look ridiculous because it's just a bunch of tees. That's lots, crazy. Lots, lots of tees, bro. A lot of tees. <laughs> a lot of tees. Up next, ah, mix it up. We got some jeans. Navies. Here's just another quarter zip. Can't go wrong with these. I know that some people in America are gonna look at this and go, bro, you spent $66,000 on the, this super dead drip. Like, where's the drip? There's no Gucci, there's no Dior, there's no Prada. Once again, just can't go wrong with any of these. A lot of long sleeve stuff. And just some nice, simple blazer. So these are gray knitted summer walks. Very, very comfortable. Uh, so these are <laughs> open walks, but with fur on the inside. So yeah, these are super, oh, so nice. That's flush. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Cool, yeah. And I think that's pretty much about it, bro. So I think probably the easiest thing to do now is probably just throw on some of this stuff and just show you guys a couple outfits. So this is an outfit that I go, let's say, for a chill, casual lunch. Stuff doesn't perfectly match, but I'm just trying to show you guys what I bought and how I would roughly pair it up. Let's say for instead you want to keep this on and you just throw on this a nice LP quarter zip. And then you throw on a gilet. This is actually a two-sided gilet, so it's linen on this side. A bit more of a light, funky color. And this, my friends, is how you dress like an old man, which is my sort of style. Most of the time, I'd say 80, 90% of the time. And then, and sometimes I'll be a little bit more casual with it. So so this is a nice outfit I'd wear maybe in Saint-Tropez, maybe a nice warm summer's day in London. Maybe, maybe even here in Dubai, this isn't super warm. If I was using the rest of my wardrobe, I'd probably throw on some shoes that are a little bit more white. So a final look is so these army jeans, these gray wash LPs, and then just a navy shirt. And let's say I just want to be comfortable, then this is probably like a, a normal look I'd go for. I get people asking me, especially in my DMs a lot, fashion advice, where do you buy this, where do you buy that? Things I'll say are worth 
worth investing in is nice jackets, nice shoes, the trousers, the shirts, the jumpers, all that stuff. Everything in between can be cheap. But if you have nice shoes, if you have a nice jacket, and especially, I'm gonna be honest with you, if you get to a point where you can invest in a nice watch, I mean, even for example, just a nice Omega Moon Swatch. So this is a Moon Swatch, and then I just put it on an aftermarket band. And now you have, in my opinion, a very cool, beautiful watch. I wear this watch all the time when I'm traveling, stuff like that. The market price, I think all in all, you'll be spending like 500 bucks, 600 bucks, something like that. And you throw this together with Muji, Uniqlo, even Zara, and you get some stuff that isn't too tight. And listen, for very inexpensive, you're gonna look like a million bucks. And that is a wrap. You will be a Casanova. So on that note, I will see you guys in the next vlog.